Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. As expected by most fans, Samson Dauda is in the top 3, competing for the Olympia this year. In this video, we're comparing his physique from the 2023 Mr. Olympia to his earlier winning physique at the Arnold Classic. I divided this video into two segments, the first minute and a half caters to those who may only be curious to see these two physiques side by side, synced in all 8 mandatories without having to wait for my analysis in each pose. The second part delves into my breakdown of the 8 mandatory poses. Feel free to check the timestamps below to navigate your way through. Special thanks to Gilco Productions again for his awesome footage. Find his links in the description. Front double bicep. Left spread. Left spread. Side chest. In the front double biceps pose, you might notice variations in angles and lighting, so it's essential to approach the comparison with a grain of salt. At first glance, Samson has undoubtedly gained size, but has he made improvements? Personally, I prefer his legs at the Arnold, and it seems his midsection may have become larger. However, his arms are more defined now, making this an overall impressive pose for Samson. The front lat spread highlights improvements in Samson's chest area since the Arnold. While his lats appear larger, it's worth noting that the lower camera angle may contribute to this effect. Nevertheless, the absence of certain details in the lower body present at the Arnold remains a slight concern for me. The side chest pose certainly showcases significant improvements in Samson's upper body, both in terms of overall thickness and pose execution. I observed this during the confirmation round as well, so congratulations to him and his team for that. However, my concern persists regarding lo the lower body from the side angle as well. While his outer quad has improved at the Olympia, there's a noticeable loss of detail in his glute ham tie-in. Now looking at the back, it's evident that this is the area where Samson has uh, made the most significant improvements. In the back double biceps pose, you can clearly see enhancements in the lower lats and the overall back development. His width and pose execution have improved. However, there's still room for refinement downstairs, his glutes appear a bit too soft, especially in comparison to competitors like Hardy and Derek. Don't forget to drop a like if you appreciate my work, whether you agree with me or not. The improvements in the back area are also apparent in the back lat spread pose. It's clear that Samson dedicated significant attention to this area throughout the year and it's paying off. His back is now much more competitive, boosting increased size and enhanced details.
Moving on to the side triceps pose, despite less than ideal angles, it appears there might be a deterioration in the lateral head. The details and separation in his triceps, an area that lacked definition before, seem to be a concern. While genetics may play a role, it's essential for this aspect to at least remain consistent. What are your thoughts on this? Moving on to the abs and thighs pose, as in common with uh, many athletes over time, Samson's midsection appears to be gradually widening. This trend is also noticeable with Derek since his last competition, though it's not necessarily a problem at this point. While Samson may have lost some details in the midsection, particularly in certain angles, his lower body, especially the legs, looks impressive. It could be attributed to variations in angles or lighting after all. The most muscular pose has undoubtedly seen significant improvements. Samson has gained considerable mass in the arms and chest, contributing <coughs> to an overall increase in muscle mass. This enhancement certainly works in his favor in this particular pose. While there's no denying Samson's notable size improvements, particularly in the back, it's worth noting that his conditioning and overall detailing may not have seen the same level of enhancement since the Arnold. The added mass is a positive aspect, but there seems to be a trade-off with some of uh, the previous polish. The question arises, did he get better overall? It could be argued that uh, the increased mass contributes to improvement, but the loss of polish is a factor to consider. What are your thoughts on this? That's a wrap for today, you superset maniacs. Don't forget to like if you appreciate my work and subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time.